Coogan Cassius, IFL TV, MTK Global. We're at Hatton's Gym here in Hyde. I'm joined by Walt Harris. How are you, sir? I'm well, sir. I'm well. I'm good. Right. Need some inside information from you, sir. <laughs> You've been sparring Mr. Fury? Yes. How's that been? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's just say I'm getting my butt kicked, man. It's good, though. He's good. Yeah. Really good. But people I speak to that spar Tyson Fury kind of say that He's that unorthodox that even Tyson doesn't probably know what he's doing. Yeah. Or what he's going to do, rather. Um, I wouldn't say he doesn't know what he's going to do. I think he's just unorthodox, and he makes it work. Mm. Like, he, he throws punches from different angles. Like, he hit me with an uppercut the other day. I, I literally didn't even see it, cause, and we were standing this close together. It's weird how big he is and where he can get his hands and how he moves, you know. It's just it's a different thing, man. He brings a different element to the game. Mm. Genetics and logistics, when you look at Tyson Fury, it doesn't quite fit the way he kind of moves and yes. and throws punches, like he said. Uh, you know, just the, the clips we saw of him there, but, you know, he's kind of one of a kind in that way. Yeah, he is. Um, you know, people say, I'm a, I'm, I move well for a heavyweight, but him being 6'9", 270 pounds, moving like a lightweight is just a whole nother, like, it's special, man. It really is. Like, sometimes I get caught in the middle of sparring, like, admiring what he's doing. And then he, bang, you know, I'm like, oh, shit. All right, we're fighting, you know what I mean? Uh, he's talented, man. Like, I'm very impressed. Yeah. Am I right in saying that you've also sparred Deontay Wilder? Yes. Okay. So, you're probably in a, a select few people that have sparred the both. Yes. Yeah. yeah. How would you describe that, then, compared to Tyson Fury? Uh, I mean, it's different. They bring, they both present different problems. I mean, Deontay's power is world class. Like, it's... It's unlike anything I've ever felt. Um, he's athletic as well, but he doesn't move and keep up the intensity and the pace that Tyson keeps up. For a 6'9", 270-pound guy to move and throw as many punches as he does around, it's, it's unseen. I mean, I don't, I've never seen it. You know, um, I think they both have their, th their, their you know, skill sets, but I think Tyson's the better boxer. You know, I think his IQ for the game and what he does in the ring is just, i I never seen anything like it. There's obviously talk now of the Fury and Wilder fight happening ahead of Wilder and Joshua. I mean, we heard comments from Tyson Fury and his uh, promoter Frank Warren yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, if they both call you for sparring, which one do you go to? Oh man, that's, I'm just gonna stay out of it. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna just decline. I'm gonna, I'm gonna respectfully decline both of those. Um, you know, they're both great guys, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Um, outside of the ring stuff, you know, they're both great guys. So I wish the best for both of them. I told Tyson myself, when they, if they do make this fight in December, I will be there. You yeah. know? And I'll be screaming and yelling for both of them, man. So good luck to both of them. Man. We know Wilder hits very hard, but how would you compare his power to, to, to that of Tyson Fury? Um, I say Deontay has more power, but Tyson has cumulative power. He can yeah. throw four or five punches with power, whereas D, he throws one, two, and you might not make it back from those one or two, you know what I mean? But Tyson puts them together, man. Like, it's special, man, for real, for real. How would you compare their movement? Oh, Tyson's movement yeah. is a lot better, I think. I think he just the way he cuts angles and he slips. I can't hit him. I probably hit him. We, we probably done 35, 40 rounds. I probably hit him on the face seven times. You know what I mean? Like, and that's no exaggeration. Like, he's slick, man. He's slick to be six foot nine. The slickest guy I've ever been in there with. You know, if they had to tell me the first day, don't get frustrated, you know, it's hard to hit him. I was like, all right, you know, I'm trying to stay calm, but he's good, man. He really is. It's a very interesting division in, in heavyweight boxing. There's a lot can happen. Obviously, we know Joshua's fighting Povetkin and mm -hmm. waiting on whether Wilder will take that fight next year. But can you see that fight happening between Joshua and Wilder next year? No. No. I, I don't think Joshua wants to fight him. Oh, really? That's just how I feel about it. I mean, I feel like he's doing... They're handling him, you know, I, that's just how I see it. I, trust me, I'm not a boxing guy. I mean, I watch boxing, but I'm not inside of boxing. But from the outside looking in, if that's a fight you want, you can make it happen, you know. Um, next year, I don't think it's going to happen by next year. I really don't. I think he's going to try to wait Deontay out, try to, you know, see what he can do outside of fighting Deontay. That's just how I feel about okay, it. Okay, interesting. All right, well, listen, Walt, thank you very much for giving us a little bit of time. And, uh, yeah, thanks for giving us a little bit of an insight. Smell them. Just... Do you spar him? No. He's, he's too fast. No, he's spar him. <laughs> he's too fast. I <laughs> uh, appreciate you for having no me. No problem, and uh, hopefully we'll catch up soon. For sure. Thank you very much. Thank you, brother.